Let's do a little small catechism review. What is the second commandment? You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. What does this mean? Well, we'll get to that coming right up. Hey there, St. Paul family and whoever else happens to be watching. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And let's get into God's word for this week's devotion. We're taking a look at Psalm 148. Uh, this is a great uh, celebratory psalm calling us to, to praise the Lord with shouts of Alleluia. Uh, so I invite you to, to go check it out for yourself. Pause this video, open up your Bibles or your Bible apps, and go ahead and read Psalm 148. The second commandment, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not curse, swear, use satanic arts, lie, or deceive by his name. Those are all the, uh, the wrong ways to use the name of God, which he has given to us as a, as a gift. But Luther, in the small catechism, goes on to explain the, the proper use of God's name. How, how should we use it? But uh, instead, pray, uh, excuse me, call upon it in every trouble. Pray, praise, and give thanks. And boy, does Psalm 148 praise the name of the Lord. And that is actually our, our words of the day, the name of the Lord. And we hear that in verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. And in Psalm 148, all of creation is called on to praise the name of the Lord, from the, the heavenly beings, the, the angels and the heavenly hosts, to the sun, moon, and stars that are, are set in the skies, to the, uh, to the creatures in the, in the sea and in the sky and on land, to, to even the weather and to inanimate objects like mountains and hills and, and trees. And finally, all people, from young to old, from male to female, all are called upon to praise the name of the Lord. Uh, why is that? Well, because it is through the Lord that, that they were created. He uh, commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever, and so is worthy of all of our praise. But creation isn't the only reason we should call on the name of the Lord, because in Jesus, God has also become the world's redeemer. And that gets me to uh, a connection in Philippians 2, where it talks about God has highly exalted Jesus and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. What is this name that has been bestowed on Jesus? It's not the name Jesus. Jesus is a, a common first century Jewish male name. That's not the name it's talking about here. It's the name of the Lord. It's the name Yahweh. It says right there, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The Greek word Lord there is kurios, which uh, corresponds to the Hebrew word Yahweh, the name that God gives uh, to Moses and to the people of Israel. This is my name. This is the, the holy name uh, that God was speaking of in the second commandment. Jesus has that name. And so Jesus is worthy of all of our praise. Why uh, does Jesus have that name? Why is he worthy of all of our praise? Well, um, uh, because he has humbled himself to become part of, of his own creation. Uh, he was willing to, to be killed at the hands of his created people. Uh, he uh, 
uh, took on the, the curse of the entire creation, the curse of sin that, that all of creation was subjected to. He offered himself as the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And now he is victorious, uh, risen from the dead, uh, ascended and glorified on high next to God the Father at his right hand. And upon his return, uh, all of creation shall praise the name of the Lord. Uh, the trees of the field will clap their hands uh, and every knee will bow. Uh, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. For his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above heaven and earth. Will you pray with me? We praise you, O Lord Jesus Christ, as you have received the name that is above all names. Uh, we, we call upon your name and ask for your help, uh, for your strength, for, uh, for your provision, for your uh, redemption, for your sanctification. Every good thing we have comes from you. And may all creation join us in praising your name. Alleluia. Amen. I discovered a, a new song, a good song that, that goes well with uh, our theme for this day's devotion. Uh, name Above All Names. So I've included a link to that song uh, on YouTube and encourage you to check it out for yourself. And pray that it would bless you this day. Until next time. God's grace and peace be with you all.